What is up people? My name is Echo and in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you the simple steps you can take to live stream on four different platforms. First one being Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, and Beagle Live. So as a DJ, you're already going to have some equipment at home. You definitely probably have a controller at home, so we won't get into that. But first up, you need to have RCA to 3.5mm cables. You need to have an audio interface and you need to have a USB hub. Afterwards, you need to download Streamlabs OBS or OBS uh, if you're on MacBook. And if you're connecting to Beagle Live, you require Beagle Live Connector, which is only for PC, unless your MacBook has a program that helps you stream, sorry, helps you run EXE files. So first up, what you do is you connect your RCA to 3.5mm from your controller into your audio device. Running as an audio interface, I have a Zoom H2N that's about $150-$200. Um, if you really really care about your audio quality and things like that, you should run it through something like that. If you have an Mbox or any other audio interface, that works as well. The thing essentially you need to figure out is how do you plug in a mic input into your computer. So if you're running everything off a MacBook, besides having something like a Zoom H2N, if you have a USB to microphone adapter, that works as well. So a USB or microphone adapter will work as an additional input. So this tutorial right now for Beagle will also only be for PC. So let's move on to the how to set up your OBS system and connect it to your Beagle Live connector. Alright, so you, as you can see, this is my desktop. You can see what kind of games and what kind of things I have on my PC. This PC hasn't really been touched a lot because I spend most of my time working. Uh, so first up, you have to have Streamlabs OBS open and then you set into create output projector and make sure that when you create this output projector, it's by itself. So it's really just in the corner there. Uh, make sure you don't maximize anything. Um, so I, I like to lay it out like this because this way I will be able to see everything neatly while I'm DJing. So for the reason why I use Streamlabs OBS is so I can see the various chats and you can see all my various scenes here. I have my opening, my main, my live stream setup. My live stream setup has more like, you know, it gives you all the backgrounds, which um, if that will be a different tutorial. So back to this camera, back to this. Okay, so you can see. All right. Um, generally you have, before you do all this, before you launch this thing, you have to go to your mixer and make sure that your audio output is on monitor and output. After you have it on monitor and output, then that's why I have my headphones on. You gotta make sure that your mic input does not feedback with your uh, uh, audio output. Um, after that, you just take your phone um, and you get Beagle Live ready. Uh, it's quite simple actually the connecting and the interface is quite fast. It's um, in HD as well before you start make sure you select projector output and Then your projector output will be here. So it basically projectors projects what you have on your Streamlabs onto that output so just start alive um, Set to computer scan it here Three, two, one. Okay, so I'm live on Beagle right now. As you can hear. Oh, let me turn that off. Okay. Um, you, you can turn off. Let me turn off the Beagle camera. So you should be able... Yeah, okay, my video camera is off. So you should be able to see your whole screen right now. And on here, you can actually adjust how your output is. So like, I don't like um, having the the words projector output there. So it's one of the weaknesses when you're streaming on Beagle that you can't do like a studio mode to allow you to 
uh, do all these settings unlike Facebook and stuff because they don't have an exact Streamlabs or OBS uh, direct interface this is like how it works and you gotta make sure that when you stream like that you don't accidentally run something over the projector as you can see once my mouse goes there it it blocks out because what it does in instead of having a window capture an actual window capture it captures that segment of your desktop so if you have anything that runs messages as an overlay you really shouldn't do that so right now uh, i'm just going to go back to this so on my streamlabs obs once i have all that um i have my audio ready i'm just going to play a song so you can hear how clean the audio is. And if you're actually on Beagle, this is exactly what you hear. Pure clean audio. And that's exactly how it runs. And you have to, the important thing about it is that you have to do it in that step-by-step -step order. Uh, it's kind of like an audio chain where it goes OBS, sorry, where it goes output interface OBS Beagle Live. So if you have you have to go into that straight line, otherwise you're not gonna be able to have your audio connected properly on your Beagle Live. Um, and that's that's about it for today's tutorial. Um, for the rest, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I gotta get to editing this video down to make it less choppy. <laughs> and see you guys! Alright, so um, uh, something a little extra. I forgot to put this in when I was doing the video earlier. So um, if you want to multi-stream on those computer platforms, you need to have a Restream account. I pay $20 a month for a Restream account right now for Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and I'm also streaming on LinkedIn. So if you're on LinkedIn, this will help you as well. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and comment in the comment section below to tell me what other tutorials you guys want.